welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Imana and you've picked a perfect first video to watch if this is your first one. So I am gonna be starting a new segment on my channel that is called Post-Grad Diaries. So if you've just graduated from college or you're about to graduate from college or you're still young and still trying to figure it out, then this is going to be the series for you to watch and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So let's hop right into the first page of this diary. So today makes an exact year since I have graduated from college and oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Like it feels like the time has just flown by. Well, not really, some days seemed really, really long. Some months seemed really, really long, but I can't believe that May 10th has marked the day that it has been a year since I've graduated. So if you are graduating and you are a part of class of 2020, congratulations, you guys have made it. No more classes, no more assignments, no more tests, no more projects, none of that. You are entering into the real world, which I might say, it may seem, you know, super exciting and fun in the beginning, but it can get a little rocky and scary at times. But I'm here to kind of smooth that bumpy road over for you just a little bit. So the first thing that I have learned since graduating is having a budget is crucial, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I, for those of you who are new to this channel, I live in Atlanta and oh my gosh, if I didn't have a budget, I literally, I would be living check to check pretty much because as you all know, Atlanta is not cheap. I do live in the city. So rent and just everything else is super duper expensive. But I have found that having a budget really helps. If you are kind of new to making a budget, I will have a video linked right here and then it'll be in the description box below that you can refer to as you are trying to start to make your budget as you're starting those jobs. So if you have a Apple laptop or you have like an iPad or something like that, download numbers. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. I wasn't familiar with this. I actually just ran upon numbers a couple of months ago. Um, numbers is kind of like Excel, but for Apple, it already has pre-budgeted templates in there that you can go in and then you can just enter in your um, amount that you're getting paid or any incomes that you have and then just list all of your bills out and it will show you exactly what percentage of your money is going towards rent, what percentage of your money is going towards utilities, gas, groceries, all of that. It's a super duper easy way to budget and it's all electronic and it's on your phone. For me personally, I budget using my happy planner and I use a lot of stickers. So um, that's just kind of what helps me. I love being able to write all of my purchases down so that I can actually see how much money I'm spending. But for those of you who want something that's a little bit more digital, then numbers is the app that I would download and it's free. So definitely check that out. But yes, that is the number one thing that I would say is budgeting really, really is crucial. So for me personally, let me tell you a little story. So I just started working almost a year ago and I was getting my checks and I was like, mm, okay, like I'm having a lot more money than I'm used to having. So, you know, I mean, I was budgeting and I was saving, but I was also still spending a lot of money because I mean, this is my first time having like a full-time job where I'm getting paid this amount of money, you know, bi-weekly. So as time went on, a bill started to increase increase a little bit more because the first I would say three months my bills were low um, some of my bills have not fully kicked in some of my bills you know they were prorated I had discounts and things like that so as my bills started to normalize a little bit more they started to increase I was like oh wow like there's actually a lot more money that I'm not able to keep anymore um, so I started to create a budget and to really just kind of like stay on that so I will say for those of you who are moving into an apartment or anything like that um, for me personally, I'm not 100% sure if this would be your situation too, but like I said, for the, at least the first three months, my bills are relatively low. So it seems like I had a lot more money than I can tell you that I have today. But with budgeting, it's made things a lot more easier and I do have a lot more money in my pockets now than I did um, when I first started out. So tip number two is having some super duper helpful apps at the tip of your fingers on your phone. So I'm not gonna go super in depth into what apps that I use just yet because if you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel, you will see on Wednesday, I will talk about the five tips that have kind of saved my life and helped me. Um, but that is something else that I would recommend. I am using so many more apps 
now that I've graduated than I was when I was in school. And even some of the apps that I was using when I was in school, I'm not even using them the same way as I'm using them now that I've graduated. So I've just kind of noticed the top five apps that I go to, which are, you thought I was gonna tell you? No, you're really gonna have to come back for Wednesday's video to see which five apps I am using. But all of them are super helpful. And I know two in particular, they actually help track how much money I'm spending and they give me rewards. So they're super duper helpful. And like I said, some of these apps I really didn't even know of until after I graduated just because I wasn't really in the headspace to use them. But now that I've graduated, they are super helpful. I use them probably, at least four or five times a week. So I will be telling you the secret apps that I use in Wednesday's videos. Tip number three that I wanna get is things change. Hobbies change, the friends that you hang around change, your interests change, and that's okay. The number one piece of advice that I have learned since graduating is I am now making sure that the friendships that I have are adding value to my life. And by adding value, I mean, I am friends with people that I see qualities in them that I want to aspire to be like. So for example, I have a really close friend. She just got her master's degree and I'm so super proud of her. And I will say that she is super duper close to me. I aspire to be as successful as she is one day, you know? So it's just like making sure that you're keeping people in your corner who you aspire to be like. And if you don't aspire to be like them or you don't feel that they're adding value to your life, you don't feel like they can connect with you on the level that you're on right now, that is okay. We all have seasonal friends. You know, I have friends that, you know, I was friends with in college. We may not be super close anymore, but that's okay. I mean, there's no hard feelings around that. It just means we're in two different seasons of our lives right now. So if you notice that, you know, you're not talking to the people that you used to talk to every single day, or you're not hanging out with the people that you used to hang out with, every single day that is okay people change situations change circumstances change life changes and that is okay so it doesn't mean to have like a chip on your shoulder as in oh like we're not cool anymore or we're not friends no like it doesn't even have to be like that we're all grown and we're all growing so you may just outgrow some people and that is okay so my biggest piece of advice is don't take distance personally the second piece of advice to this that I would give is hobbies change. And that's okay too. I know when I was in college, I loved shopping. I was at the mall literally at least three times a week. I was always buying makeup, you know, I was always just doing different things that I'm not doing now. So like my hobbies now are like YouTube. Um, I love putting stickers in my happy planner. I don't know if that's a hobby, but I do this like literally every single week. It's something that I can't go a week without doing. So that's a hobby of mine. Um, I color a lot more. That's kind of like a stress reliever that I have. And these are things that I didn't necessarily do when I was in college. So your hobbies and interests may change. Again, that's okay. We are grown, okay? We are growing. So the things that you're interested in may change and that's fine. So the fourth thing that I wanna touch on is, oh my gosh, independence. Independence is not free, you guys. Freedom, even though it's freedom, freedom is not free. It's actually really, really expensive. So another story that I'll kind of tell you is when I was in college, I lived on campus, so I wasn't paying rent. Um, I had a meal plan, so free food was available to me, even though I didn't really eat it because the cat food is really nasty, but it was available to me. Wi-Fi was free. I didn't have to pay for that. And in my head, I did have my own sense of freedom because there was nobody that I was reporting to. I wasn't following, you know, like anybody else's rules, so to speak. Like I wasn't under somebody else's roof having to follow their rules. So in my mind, you know, I was free. I had my own freedom, literally for free. Now that I am more independent, I am away from home, you know, I have a lot of freedom, a lot of it, and it's actually really, really expensive. So I actually have a lot of freedom now, and it's actually really, really expensive. So I think the bulb just kind of like went off for me when I was starting to pay bills. And like I said, my bills had started to increase a little bit. So I was like, geez, like my Wi-Fi bill is $70. Wi-Fi is not free. Um, you know, the rent that I pay, I pay a little bit over $1,300 um, with rent and utilities. So just having a roof over my head is not free. You know, I have 
buy groceries every single week. And now that we are inside more, I'm spending almost $100 on groceries a week, which is ridiculous to me because I never spent this much money on groceries. So, you know, just the things that I took for granted in college that were free, that, you know, amounted to my freedom, I'm noticing that that's not necessarily free right now. So if you are at home or you have a job that's in your hometown or home city, I would highly encourage you to just kind of, you know, bite the bullet or see if you can stay home for a little bit longer and save up some money because you guys, it's really not all of what it's cracked up to be out here. And the bills just continue to increase. Since I've been working from home, my power bill increased, my sewer bill increased, my water bill increased, but yet I'm free, you know? I have my own independence, I have my own place, but it's actually really, really expensive. And if you can stay at home and save a couple thousand dollars, thousand dollars, I would highly recommend for you to just stay home and just know, you know, you can be free in your own mind. You can be free in a lot of other ways, you know, but having your own freedom, independence, your own place, it's not free. So then the fifth thing that I want to share with you is your degree is literally only a ticket in the door to the corporate world. Like if you have seen the movie Polar Express, that little golden ticket that they get before they get on the train, Yes, your degree is a ticket into the corporate door. And this is something that I learned quite recently, actually, is, you know, I would be working and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, like I'm not even using the knowledge or even some of the classes that I learned years ago in the job that I'm doing now. And I just kept asking myself, you know, why did I even go to college if they're going to teach me anyways you know some of the stuff that you're learning in college is not going to be the same stuff that you're doing in your job every company is very very different every company does things very very differently so no matter where you go they're gonna have to teach you you're gonna have to go through some type of training so you're just like okay well why am i going to college if you know the stuff that i'm learning is not exactly the stuff that i'm going to be doing or i'm not even using the knowledge that i learned back in freshman year you know in my job now but yet i'm paying for it and so i just have to you know sit down look around and say would i be able to have the lifestyle that i have without my degree and at this point in my life i might not be able to have that so that's why i say you know just looking at your degree as a ticket in the door versus well i was in college and i didn't learn this but i should have and you know just going down that rabbit hole of was my degree worth it yes Yes, your degree is very much worth it because without it, you know, you can't really get into the corporate door um, or it's going to be a little bit harder to get in without that degree. So I just wanted to kind of like explain that a little bit more that your degree is literally your ticket in, your golden ticket into the corporate world. And no matter how much your student loan is or whatever the case may be, and you're paying it, and I know that it can be annoying because it's annoying to me, but you know, I just have to think that this was my ticket in and this is how I'm able to afford the lifestyle that I have now. So that wraps it up for this video entry of our postgrad diaries. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel so that you can know the five apps that I've been using that have made my life a whole lot easier. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.